Hello, peoples, everybody. It's good to be with you. This is Pastor Kevin bringing you another Matthew devotion. We are moving on to the next section of the Antitheses, and we're going to be in Matthew 5, starting with verse 38. I'm going to read that to you, and then we'll get jumping right in. It says this, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Okay, uh, the text is kind of sim- uh, simple. Um, it's hard, though. <laughs> it's hard. If you're listening to what it's saying, you can feel the weight of this. Um, this is getting to the depths of the forgiveness and generosity kind of mashed together, right? Forgiveness and generosity just saying, you know, um, I will absorb enough. And, and I think the thing is, um, uh, in the sermon, Pastor Isaac talked about some of these things such as um, the tunic and the, and the cloak and so forth. But outside of those details, um, I, I think I want you to simply look at people in your life and see who are the ones that it's hard for you to do that with. Usually it's the closest people to us. Usually it's a spouse or a family member or um, a, an estranged friend or whatever. We have difficulty actually resolving some of that, um, that forgiveness or resolving some of the wound that you might have. Now in these cases, a lot of this is talking about um, resisting evil. So it might be slightly different, but in the same way, I mean, in a, in a way it is because it's, it's an idea of how deep are my forgiveness and generosity tanks, right? Am I able to actually step beyond something that someone has done for me and, and, and simply be with them again, um, respond in a positive manner. Now, uh, one caveat here. This is not talking about if you're being abused, that you just sit in the abuse. That's not what this is saying. Uh, in fact, specifically, these are talking about things that might have happened in first century uh, Jerusalem or in, in basically the, Israel, uh, the area of Israel in the first century because of the Roman occupation and so forth. I think this is getting at the heart of the, that generosity, right? And it actually is very uh, connected to the, the the eye for the eye, tooth for the tooth is an Old Testament idea. And also at the very end, refusing the, the borrowing, um, giving um, freely without interest and that type of thing is, is something that was definitely part of the Old Testament law. So you see Jesus again is going to the deepest part of this and saying, yeah, you know those times when you feel like you are justified in not uh, respond, well, you're justified in responding almost negatively. He's saying, wait a second, maybe, maybe even in those occasions, there's something else you should be considering. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do the next section on the next devotion and then we'll tie it up. But I wanna do a slight tie up right now, which is you have to picture the one speaking. We've been talking about this along the way. Who is speaking to you? It's Jesus. It's the one who actually, man, he suffered at the hands of the Romans greater than probably anyone else then did, right? He's the one who, who's, you know, was stripped bare right? You have, so if there's anyone who has the ability to respond in vengeance, it would be Jesus, our King, right? Vengeance is totally, it says vengeance is the Lord's. Yep, that's right. But yet our King would hold off that idea of vengeance so that more and more could come to him. More of his enemies might actually come into his family. Do you see that? So maybe some of those things you might be holding against someone out there. Are you holding someone out of the family? And granted, when you think of a sovereign God, it's probably hard to truly do that, but maybe there's something about our attitudes and our intentions that gets in the way. Our motivations can actually slow things down that were supposed to happen in a particular way. Again, let's put, put God's sovereignty, like the, there's this idea of how God um, in his goodness controls the ultimate things, and that is absolutely true. But I just think that we, as humans, we don't have a view of that entirely, so we have to think about our intentions, what we're doing to stop someone maybe from hearing the gospel, or maybe stop them from seeing the gospel when they look at us. Mm, That's a hard one. Okay, so I pray that you would do that today. You remember your king on a cross who dies naked would say things like, hey, if someone gives, asks for one part of your clothes, give them the whole thing, right? So, 
I pray that would go with you today, uh, and I'm going to be thinking about it too. Okay, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you for your example, um, and we ask that your spirit would help us to actually live that out in some of the most challenging uh, relationships we might have, in some of those ways where we want to respond with vengeance or at least with silence, right? There are those times we just want to break break connectivity because we've been wrong. We feel like something's happened against us and we just want to stop it. Help, help us to live out your gospel, even in those most trying scenarios, um, doing it wisely, doing it with a gospel and, and our king in mind. Um, we know that we can do that through your power and your will and your desires for us. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you next time.